is the next day and I just sat down to do my makeup. I need to get ready for the day and I just put my hair back in like a slick bun because I need to wash it. I've just been doing a lot of like work, spring cleaning, getting organized. Um, we actually have been trying to like finalize a lot of the stuff for our honeymoon. It has been so much fun. We're trying to like look into all the hotels and book because we're doing like multiple cities. It's just very exciting like just planning the summer and stuff. I've also been doing some planning for my bridal shower which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait. One thing about me y'all I just I just love to throw a good party. I just want to host. I want to have all my girlfriends, my sisters, my mom, my mother-in-law, everyone there and just have like a really fun like intimate bridal shower. So I've been planning that. I've been making really good progress. I got like my florist, the venue. Right now I'm trying to do like catering and like all that stuff. So that's really what we've been up to. You guys saw that we also started touring some apartments. We haven't found anything yet. Obviously you guys will know when we do, but we just started to look just to see like what's out there. So yeah, anyways, that's a little life update. I cannot believe we are halfway through Ramadan. It honestly makes me so sad. I think this year just flew by and I know everyone says that, but for some reason I feel like this year especially flew by and I'm like, I don't know if it's because I'm like back and forth between my in-laws house and my house and like, I don't know because there's just so many things coming up. I don't know what it is, but all I know is I need to get it together. I really, really want to focus all my energy on like the last 10 nights of Ramadan, inshallah. I need to put in the work because I feel like I've been slacking, but it's okay because Ramadan is not about perfection. It's about progress and the intention is all that matters. So I'm just going to be better. Anyways, I just sat down to do my makeup. I don't have anything on my skin right now. I had a facial yesterday and it went very, very well. I see Michelle at Skintique. Um, in Del Mar. If any of you guys are in San Diego and you're looking for a good esthetician, I could not recommend her enough. I've been obsessed with her work. She's been doing my derma cleaning for the past like three or four months um, and I love how it makes my skin look. It's been amazing and I never break out when I'm with her. I had a hydrofacial. She made like a custom facial for me. Um, it was like oxygen and hydrofacial and then we did a derma cleaning. So my skin is definitely feeling very good but i'm feeling very puffy and we were talking about just like treatments and stuff that i want to do leading up to the wedding and i know i've gotten a few questions from some of you guys i'm um, about like what my plan is and i honestly i'm not planning to do anything crazy i just want to keep my skincare really really consistent really focus on my skin like healing it from the inside out i actually started taking spirolactone spirolactane i don't know how to say that my dermatologist put me on like a low dose of that so i am taking that um i'm still on the wind levy and the tretinoin and it's really been helping my acne for the most part and just like staying consistent with like facials and stuff but something i really do struggle with and i was telling her this at the facial i was like i feel so puffy i feel very puffy like in the cheeks and the jawline area and that's something that i've struggled with for years i've been doing gua sha for like i don't know three four years i think i've posted about it too but that completely like transformed like my face shape it's like getting into a habit of doing lymphatic drain I started using um, this new device in January. They sent it to me in PR and it was like so random. I'd never heard of this brand before and I never tried any other microcurrent devices. So I was very skeptical. I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. But this is the Zip Halo device and then this is the Electric Complex Gel. I haven't used it in a while though and I feel like I really need to. So we're going to do it together and then I want to get ready for the day. I feel like before I went to get my facial yesterday, my face was so, so dry and just like peeling. I was even puffier than I am now. And I swear it's like all the travel. You're like eating whatever you want, um, fasting. I just feel like my skin needed a reset. And I've been thinking about what I'm going to do when I get to Turkey, inshallah, for the wedding after that super long flight, like how I'm going to bring my skin back to life. And I'm definitely going to bring this device because I swear the first time I used it, I was like in shock. I was like, where did I just get these insane cheekbones? Where have they been hiding on my face? And I texted my friend. I was like, did you get that in PR? Because it's like really good, girl. You need to try it. And she has been obsessed with it too. This is the device. It kind of looks like a little rocket ship, but it's really tiny. And it just like fits into your bag very easily because it's just super small and sleek. So the Zip Halo Beauty device is actually the only at-home device to combine microcurrent and nanocurrent. It combines so many amazing skincare benefits. For me, obviously, my biggest struggle is the puffiness. So this works wonders in like deep puffing the skin, firming the skin, toning the skin. It really helps define like your cheekbones area. It kind of gives you like a little 
facelift at home and I love this especially when your skin is very tired and just like dry this thing saves me this is not something I knew about at first but I just recently discovered that they have an app the zip app and it basically has like tons of tutorials on how to use this device based on like what desired results you're looking for so I'm just gonna do the classic lift it says it takes four minutes they have so many other options it has one for jowls contour deep puffing eyes plumping and brow lift there's also one for your lips which i think is so cool just click on the tutorial and then you click start treatment and you can sync your device so i'm just going to turn mine on with your zip halo you can take it right out of the box and i do see those like instant results which is amazing but it's actually far more effective when you use it long term i'm going to try using this like three to four times a week for 30 days so we're going to see what the long-term effects are on me personally because i'm very picky with skincare and of course i only want to recommend the best products to you guys so let's use this now before we do our makeup start by applying four to eight pumps of the zip electric complex gel this is an activating serum gel you're just gonna apply it over everywhere including your jawline now that my skin has all the gel evenly applied we're gonna start you'll notice the band really intensifies the light starts that's the start of your treatment when you hear a little vibration that means do another up and out this is all you have to know up and out with your strokes Basically, I'm just doing upward and outwards motions. I'm applying the device firmly into my skin and I'm waiting for it to make that vibrational noise before I do another section. Don't you see the difference? This side is so much more like lifted and tightened and just like toned. Okay, and here is my skin after I used it. It feels so much tighter, so much more sculpted, so much more lifted. I don't feel puffy at all. I feel like I have so much more like definition in the cheekbones and I just feel so much more confident. Before we get on to doing my makeup, I just wanted to mention I do have a discount code if you want to try it out with me. It's code Yasmeen Zip. I will write it here on the screen. That will get you 15% off the Zip Halo device and the Zip Gel and I will leave a link in the description box if any of you guys are interested. My skin is feeling very prepped and we're going to do some makeup. You guys, we're going to Aisha's and Thawd. And with that mouth, oh, we literally yeah. just got here. We literally took a three hours. Wait, you're going to go to 17? What? Skytech oh, oh, SD. Oh, oh. We what? have two brain cells. We literally have two brain cells. Both of them fully. Yeah, I don't know what I would have done if Emma wasn't here. I don't think I, I could have found this place. Here. Also, look at your outfit. Please, everybody appreciate the outfit. Guys, I was having a crisis. Where are you the most random? Outfit. No, it's you look amazing. Beautiful. She's crazy. It looks a little, um, not iron no, in the video, but like, no, no, you're okay. <gasps> Whoa. The guest of honor. <laughs> and our lovely host. Yes. You know, I came here, my camera's dying. Oh no! Do you have a charger? I don't know for this one, I'm so it's sorry. Okay. Literally the best host and the sweetest soul. You know, I made it get ready with me. I'm so like, happy. Oh, I'm gonna cry when I'm on the It's been a couple days since we've chatted. Tonight is the 28th night of Ramadan, 27th 
day of fasting. Just did my makeup and my hair because we're actually heading to one of our friends like nikah ceremonies, which is an Islamic marriage. We went to Qiyam last night at the mosque. It was so nice. I've actually never been to one of them before. I feel like I usually just do like Tarawih and then I'll like go home, but it was so nice. My sister-in-law and I went and then we met up with like some of our other like family members. It really is all in the community. Like seeing so many people at the masjid, like people you haven't seen in a while or like meeting new people and just like spending time together there like in worship and community they had lectures last night like chai all that stuff so it was a really good time alhamdulillah i've been doing so much like planning and stuff the past few days i have not been filming as much as i wanted to be i'm like 90 percent finished planning the bridal shower which is so exciting i literally cannot wait to like tell you guys more about that and bring you along for the actual day of course but we did all of the bridal shower stuff we finished planning the honeymoon like literally every single thing that needed to be booked for the honeymoon we did so that felt so good to like check off our list now we're just getting so excited just looking at like the resorts and everything and inshallah everything turns out well so excited for spring and summer eid is in a few days and after eid there's like so many fun things coming up i'm going on a girls trip at the end of this month we have some friends in town visiting next weekend maybe we're trying to like really finalize the apartment stuff inshallah we have mustafa's graduation and then the bridal shower and the henna and the wedding and all that stuff so there's just like so much coming up that i feel like after eid it just hits me like oh my gosh it's summer like it's go time and i'm so excited inshallah inshallah the eve vlog is going to be separate from this video my husband doesn't get into town um for another couple days but we're gonna do eid with his family we're gonna do like breakfast we always do breakfast after the mosque and like all the family comes over and then we like kind of break some people like go take naps some people go get like coffee they just kind of chill and then we meet up again and for dinner and that like goes pretty late there's dinner dessert last year it's singing dancing still need to figure out what i'm wearing on eve because i feel just like very unprepared same thing with this nicole like i'm so not prepared for this very last minute so i'm trying to figure out what i should wear because it's going to be outdoors and it's so cold in san diego right now i have no idea why also you guys my wedding shoes came in the mail i got two pairs because i'm planning on returning whichever like style doesn't work out for me i haven't been able to find this anywhere in stores so i just ordered both online and then i will return one but they've been like sitting so pretty in the corner of my room i haven't opened it yet because i want to do an unboxing with you guys i'm thinking of wearing this like brown dress that i have from veiled collection i've never worn it has a really beautiful like ruching collection here and it's from their not their last collection but the one right before that i think in the winter and it's a pretty warm material so i'm like maybe i could wear this i was thinking of wearing that pistachio like butterfly kefton from um, esme new york that i wore like a couple months ago and i love that one but i don't know but i think i'm gonna be too cold in that because it's a nighttime event and it's outside and that's like not a warm outfit at all so i think i'm gonna try this one on y'all it's the 28th day of fasting 29th night of ramadan the sunset looks crazy on my face i'm about to have a thought me and my dad got our last batch of dates these have lasted us honestly a really good amount of time we never like ran out or anything i thought eid was gonna be on tuesday and now it's on wednesday I just, well, I mean, I don't know. I just Googled it. I don't know if they have Google it. Google said it's Tuesday? No, Google, well, Google said it starts the night of Tuesday. Yeah, which means... It's Wednesday, yes, 8th. But I thought it was going to be the other way. Like, Monday was 8th night. My dad made me one of my favorite foods. It's like a rice, but it's in the oven. I'll show you all in a second. And then it goes with this, like, choresh on top. And it's like eggplant. Are those lentils? Chicken lentils. Chicken lentils. It's so good. I was like craving this so bad. Obviously, I have to pair it with salad shirazi. This is like the OG Persian salad. It's so good. It's actually extremely easy to make. It's literally just cucumber, onion, um, tomato, olive oil, lemon juice, and then a little bit of sumac, I think. And sometimes when I make it, I do like a little bit of apple cider vinegar and it adds like tanginess. Yes, yes. Oh, you added that? Yeah. It also has uh, cilantro. Oh, cilantro. And then you do like salt and pepper and it's so good oh yeah avocado i don't know if you've seen the lava shack trend on tiktok but we like grew up eating that it's like a sour like persian fruit roll up fruit leather type thing and i told my dad that i was craving that and apparently we had some and my dad found it for me so i'm definitely gonna get into this after i thought it's like so sour it's delicious i think it's like pomegranate what is it, like pomegranate strawberry 
pomegranate is prunes. Which I think this is probably the prunes one. I think a very traditional Persian style of dog tonight. You guys, we're planning our outfits for Eid, oh, okay. and my mother-in-law just showed us a few dresses that they have, like Afghan yeah. dresses, because they usually yeah. like to do like abaya Push. to the mosque and then change. These are the Afghan clothes um, that my mother-in-law put out for us, and this is what I think Mustafa's gonna wear. It's like a set, really nice. And he's gonna do this little like red scarf. This is so cute. Kakia. And then my mother-in-law gave me these two dresses that I could wear for dinner. This one she actually made herself. She's so talented, Michelle. Like this is all hand sewn, hand beaded, and it's like different shades of velvet. And then the skirt has like different colors. Like this is red. This is like a little brown. It's kind of hard to see on camera. And then this is like purple. So I might wear this one. It's a little bit of like a lighter fabric. And then this is the one that I really liked. It's like a thick red um velvet material with gold and it has these really big like kind of bell sleeves so most of this um and then like such a beautiful skirt so it's always so fun like picking out the Eid clothes like right before Eid the Vasava just got home we picked them up from the airport and that's what we're all doing like it's like full Eid prep mode around the house hi hi baby this is not the last of thought this no. is tomorrow no. second tomorrow, to last of no. thought <laughs> Wow, bittersweet.